Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make <laughs> it's another door video. Um, it, I mean, to be fair, it's like about I think it's like about three to four different ways to make doors like past like we'll call, call it guarded doors. Like you have doors like where you enter like a passcode, like four like four digit numbers. Uh, you have one which I'm about to show you guys, which is like where you type into a text box like a word. It's like a pass. There's different between a password, passcode. Passcode is numbers. Password is like a word. It's password, right? Then you have ones where like you have like buttons. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But the point is, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and stuff. This is the actual one that my subscriber requested. I was a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. The first two videos, I was a little bit confused with what my subscriber was asking of me. But I mean, eh. I mean, it's still good content to cover. I uh, got. Both of those videos in total probably got like about 100 plus views and stuff. People seem to be fucking with it. So, I mean, I still see it as a W, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me get straight into this video though. I bet. So, we, we got, of course, first things first, let's just make our door. You get what I'm saying? We just insert a little part real quick. You feel me? Like a little block. We go over here and then we scale it. Just make it like a door. You feel me? You gotta do too much with it. Just make it look like a door. Scale it just a little. And, oh, didn't mean to do that. Right now, so like a door, we'll make it like a nice little brown because that's what door does the color. Well, it's kind of the color, but it don't matter. We're gonna make a wood door, right? You guys don't have to do that specific thing, but make sure you do anchor the door though, right? Then, of course, name it, name the part door, right? Then we're gonna insert a remote event into replicated storage and we're gonna call this remote event password event, right? Then we are going to head on over to start GUI and insert ourselves a screen user. Insert a screen GUI, yes. We're gonna rename the screen GUI to password GUI, right? We're then gonna insert a text box and then we're gonna call this our password text box, right? Then we can put it like right here. Um. We can make the text rich, scale the text, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, bold it, you know, um, and then that's really, yeah, it looks good. Then we can insert, well, eh, I don't know. I kind of don't like the, uh, I prefer like a, oh, didn't I mean that. I feel like a darker color, you know, I like a, like a, yeah, I prefer like a gray rather than like a just bright white, you know. Um, then we can insert a local script into the uh, text box. We'll call this our password script, right? Of course, we're going to reference the remote event by doing local password event, then equals game that we're going to storage dot uh, password event, right? Then we're going to make another variable. It's going to be local password GUI. This is how we're going to make it. Uh, wait, oh, my fault actually. Uh, go up here, click enter, right? We need to get the player first. Do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player then we're gonna do play oh, oh sorry local uh password gui we're gonna of course do wait for child on the gui we're gonna do player dot player player gui wait for god damn I'm, i don't know the fuck i'm typing wait for child password gui right then we're gonna do password gui we're waiting for it to load password gui dot uh password i'm so sorry guys i don't know what the fuck is going on password text box focus loss connect function right close parentheses enter then we're going to do local msg which is short for message you can put message if you want up to you is equal to uh password gy dot password text box dot text right then we're going to do password events fire server then send over the said message right we can close the script we don't need it we're done with the gui we can head on over to service group service entered a service script name this door opener script then of course just like on the first script we are going to reference the password event by doing local password event once again local password event so you go to game the replicate storage dot password events then come down here and do password event dot on server event connect function close parentheses well First, do close parentheses, then do PLR, which is short for player, comma, then do message or MSG for short, right? Then we're gonna do 
we're gonna come up here click enter then you're gonna put your password here now you could if you wanted to save time like if you're lazy and you don't want to use remote events or use two scripts you could keep it all on the local script really you could just have like a password variable here then just run an if statement through it but this is more reliable since uh, if you weren't aware exploiters can take advantage of local scripts I'm trying to make my scripts more uh, kind of like safer and stuff for games and stuff i'm not trying to just throw things at y'all i'm trying to like make sure it's like if it's like decent enough uh, defense we'll say it has def it's decent enough it's efficient enough and also decent enough at like protecting itself from exploits if it kind of makes sense right so we're going to keep the password on the uh server side right so we're going to do local password oh password we're going to say it's equal to let's see let's see let's see um, what do we want to see? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime for sure. For sure. All right. So what we'll do is we'll run an if statement. We'll do an if statement. I should say we'll do if message is equal to password, right? Then we're going to, let me get the door. I forgot to get the door. Press enter. Then local door is good to game that workspace that door, right? Now we'll do Door dot transparency is equal to uh, one. Door dot can collide is equal to false. We'll do wait two seconds. We can really just copy and paste this and then just change it to make the vice versa zero. And then set this to true and boom, we are done just like that. Reminder that all these scripts will be in the description, so no need to worry. Um, you could check out one if you guys want to check want to know about like magnet like uh like make it so like the GUI is enabled when you're like within a certain amount of distance you can look at like my security cameras videos and you can just or my grenade videos and stuff or like flashbang and stuff you can see uh, the difference I mean not the difference you can see uh, how to do that but yeah so we come up to the door well, we don't have to be at the door but point is we're in front of the door right type if we type in whatever enter the remote event won't fire right the door won't open right now if we type in the password anime boom the door opens and after two seconds boom the door is back right random stuff random stuff random stuff nothing anime boom right so of course obviously if you wanted to obviously you would obviously change whatever password is the variable password is to match whatever password you want it to be right but yeah that's how you make a password a door with a password uh GUI and stuff. I hope the video was helpful to my subscriber. Helpful to anyone else watching. If the video was helpful, leave a like, subscribe. Links should join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Thank you guys for showing so much love and support on the channel and stuff. Let's hurry up and get to 400 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you guys.